What's up everybody? It is Julian MT and I am here to give you a video about trending Julian's blues. And that is it. Trending Julian's blues is what the main focus will be on. If you don't know how to read a trend yet, please watch Jazz Friends videos about trending, how to find the trend. But for those who aren't, uh, we're going who those who know how to trend. <laughs> we're gonna talk about trending Julian's blues. These are way stronger than against the trends blues. Uh, for example, right here is a Julian's trending blue to the downside. Where right here is a Julian's trending blue to the downside. Okay. So the strategy for Julian's trending blues is going to be when you see a blue arrow, you're gonna take it. And I'm doing it for 12 stop loss with the open take profit. Now, keep in mind, there's other signs that I'll talk about when you don't get into a trade. But um, what we're going to talk about is this UCAD pair right here. And this is on January 17th. And I'm going to tell you what happens. Um, this trade is a blue trade against the trend. Ones we typically stay away from. And news is in like a couple seconds as well. But I'm going to explain to you what what I see after the move. So we can see what Julian's blues do with the trend. Now, this trade, even though it's a yellow, a blue, a blue right here, a blue right here. You know, I would be more looking for another super arrow going up on this UCAD. So I'm not going to say I would take this move to the upside and I would have been all over it. But I will say afterwards, I would be all over it. And so the UCAD, the trend is down, 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 down. The 15 minute is down. The five minute is down. So if we were to get blues pointing to the downside, those are trending Julian's blues, right? Now, just watch what happens. Okay. Um, go back and replay that and see what I'm trying to say. All right. So there's if you got into this move, good for you. But check this out. As soon as this move hits up and hits up again, and you're blue and it's slowing down, here, here goes your trending Julian's blue. And this is what I really like to do. Here goes your trending Julian's blue. You got one down, two down, three down. You got three Julian blues down, all right? So let's say we take it as soon as we see it, and we're getting this take profit right in the trade in the trade and then this five minute happens boom 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 and let's say you're out the trade right there so these are trending Julian blues like if you see a blue after the big move going with the trend those usually work and this is like a hundred whole bunch of pips you know you got your 15 as well and now you got your fifth now you got your blues pointing back to the upside so I mean you can get out right there and uh, throughout the day it wins again I think right here it actually wins again yeah right here on this move with this super arrow this blue yellow with the blues going with the trend that with this 15 it won so the the key is just to go with Julian's blues with the trend I'm gonna show you another example of Julian's blues with the trend okay here we are we're going to be talking about let's see Okay, we're going to be talking about the UJ. 
So the UJ, this Euro USD JPY, right? This middle chart, the trend is one down, two down, three down, and the weekly is pointing to the downside. You have your 15 going to the downside, and your five minute is pointing to the downside. Now, just by looking at this super pink, you know, this five minute trend in pink, that's a good trade, you know, correlating with this 15 minute. These are two great trades in itself. Now, what really sparks my interest and what really gets me into the trade is that while I'm looking at this UJ, seeing that it's being close to the bottom of the BB bands, seeing if I can get in again, the funny thing happens is a blue pops up on the UJ and it pops up to the downside. When this happens, I'm like, oh, okay, this is trending Julian's blues to the downside, all right? So now the next time this flashes momentum or now it looks good to get in because now this looks like a setup in itself. So whenever that blue appeared, we're in the trade. And these trade goes for over five pips. Like I said, open TP. Or, or take profit five with Julian's trend in blues. So, uh, yeah, I just show you the end result, and it wins pretty, pretty good. You know, with the Julian's blue, trending Julian's blue. That's the most important thing, trending Julian's blue. And that's it for that one. And I just want to give a short video about uh just the trending signals okay this is a great video of the show um this is screen leap and i just want to talk about how if you're taking the blue arrows as soon as you see them with the trend the signs of not to take the blue arrow with the trend you know like on this use on this uc you got two blues pointing to the downside and the trend is down but immediately the five the five is up the 15 is up and the 15 is up you got one arrow two arrow three four you got four O to the upside and the five and 15 are pointing to the upside so right here at this point this is not a time to take just the blue trade right I mean Right here, you get your super arrow, and oh man, I wish I could show you perfectly entry, but you get your super arrow with your super 15. Cool, right? I'm not gonna say that's not a bad trade to take. That would have gave you five pips. Now it goes back up. You know, you still got your signals. You know, you're not supposed to go against three o, four o's, one one or four hour supers, and this shoots up pretty hard. Whenever this happens, though, whenever this super arrow appears, okay, trending Julian's blue, you might say, whenever this arrow appeared, that is cool because now look at it. You have the Julian's blue, you have your super arrow on the 5, you have your super arrow on the 15, you have your 1 hour blue, you have your 4 hour blue, so, you know, that in itself making it 4-2 to the downside. So, yeah, that's the better trade, obviously. And then you get more signals and more signals to point into the downside. And that's what Julian's trend is blue. So trending wise, it is such a better trade, such a better trade. Just stick to the trend, count the trend. Whenever I see blues that aren't going against this <laughs> whenever I see blues that aren't going against these type of signals yeah I'm taking these trades almost instantly like for example on this EU when this move happened this move happened and the actual trend for the EU is down I mean you have your blues you have the one hour pointing down you have your four hour pointing down your 15 minute is down and your 5 minute is down. Just the orange line being under the yellow. And what's also good about looking at 
trending Julian's blues or when you see a blue or going with the trend period, if you're going with the trend and you have this weekly and this daily super arrows going to the downside and then you see something like Julian's blue right here, a trending Julian's blue. Yeah, that's why it's, you're able to do take the blue as soon as you see it for open TP. And it works so much better. I mean, even with this red arrow going to the downside, that would have been a great trade. See, it goes up. And see, it happens again. Right here. Happens again. And once again, you know, you got your cross on the five. So it's kind of crossing on the five. And it's not necessarily say I would take this one for an open TP because it's on the cross. But if you're, once again, if you're taking the trades with the trend, you're more likely to win. But you have your one in four hour supers. So this is one of these trades that you want to wait for. But then again, it wins. But wait till you get your signals. Like once this happened this super arrow appeared with momentum this is such this is the way better trade because now you have your 15 as well you don't have your four hour anymore and now the long term is 3-1 to the downside and you got trend in Julian's blues so this is the better trade to the downside so yeah all I wanted to do is say <laughs> all I want to say is just focus on trending Julian's blues not necessarily just taking any blues against the trend. Blues against the trend, you need like a five suit, five minute super arrow and a fifteen minute super arrow to even take it against the trend. You know, if it's yellows, of course those are going to work. If it's five and fifteens against the trend, BR said this clearly. If it's yellows against the trend, super yellows at that with some blues on the five and fifteen with momentum. That's probably the only time you can really take blues against the trend. And that is all I want to say. <laughs> Go trend in blues. Open TP. Yeah. I mean, these are, you can basically get out these whenever there's another arrow going against you. A blue arrow, super arrow, however you feel with this. Anyways, thank y'all.